y is 0 factorial equals to 1 y and if 0 factorial is equal to 1 y is 1 factorial also equal to 1 because we all know that 0 is never equals to 1 so why is this so I know the curious ones among you would like to know why so let us look at the logical proof First of all, let us define what it means by factorial. If you have n factorial, this means that n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2. You keep on going, reducing n by 1 up to times 1. That is the last number. You keep on reducing the number by one by one till it reach one and whatever you get by simplifying this is the value of n factorial uh, if we are given two factorial this means that two times one which is equal to two three factorial this is the same thing as saying three times two six times one is also six four factorial is equal to four times three which is twelve times 2 which is 24 times 1 is also 24 this is 24 what about 5 factorial 5 factorial is the same thing as 5 times 4 20 20 times 3 is uh, 60 then 60 times 2 is 120 120 times 1 is still 120 let us stop here above we are going to have one factorial which we want to find out y is equal to one and also zero factorial we want to find out look at this sequence of numbers we know that there is something logical in this sequence of numbers if you multiply two by three you're going to obtain six so from here to get here you have two times by three from six to twenty four if you times 6 by 4, you're going to obtain 24. If you multiply this number 24 by 5, you're going to obtain 120. This is how the sequence will keep on going. For example, if you want to find out 6 factorial, you're going to times 120 by, by 6 this time around. And this is how it will keep on going. All right. If we should come from the last number, we know from 120, if you come back to 24, you have to divide by, divide by 5. From 24 down to 6, you have to divide by 4, because 24 divided by 4 is 6. If you divide 6 by 3, look at how the chain is going, reducing by 1. If you divide this number by 3, you are going to obtain 2. So what about 1 factorial? You have to divide this 2 by 2 again. If you divide this 2, if you divide this number by 2, you are definitely going to obtain 1. If you divide 1 by 1 because we the, the numbers are decreasing, if you divide this 1 by 1, meaning 1 divided by 1, you are still going to get 1. So this is why 0 factorial is equal to 1 and 1 factorial is equal to 1. For those of you that are so worried to know about why is zero factorial equals to one. So this is the logical proof for that. Laws of indices again, we learned that a number raised to the power of zero is equal to one. Why is this so? We all know that two to the power of one is the same thing as is the same thing as two. Two to the power of two is the same thing as two times two, which is equal to 4 2 to the power of 3 is the same thing as 2 times 2 4 times 2 is equal to 8 this is and so on and so forth this is um 16 well what about if we divide this number by 2 if you divide 16 by 2 you're going to obtain 8 8 divided by 2 you're going to obtain 4 4 divided by 2, you're going to obtain 2. If you divide this number by 2 again, 
2 divided by 2 is going to give us 1. Uh, to find out, then you divide this number by 2. If you divide by 2, you're going to obtain 1 over 2, and so on and so forth. So this is another logical proof for a number raised to the power of 0 equals to 1. You can test for other numbers like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All of them, any number you pick raised to the power of 0, you're going to obtain 1. So if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.